When Hitler came to power, yeah. he only had one third of votes. Yeah. And he did manage to cause a, a come into power, became yeah. a dictator, it caused so much havoc and destruction across yeah. Europe. Yeah. So I this is the reason why I think from one point of view it's, it's important to be very uh, aware of the political situation. Yeah. So my point, it wasn't again against uh, yourself or other Muslim people, by no means. I was just following when I had a conversation with him if they had any bad feelings towards each other, by no means. Mm -hmm. He's the finest person I, uh, I, I had a conversation with today. Nothing personal, but one has to be careful observer. In this country, if you ask me, uh, uh, I, maybe, maybe I don't know how how often you go out of uh, area of London of M25, but in many places you can see that the mood is very sour. Hmm. Okay, people are very unhappy, and you're right; they're yeah. always going to find somebody to blame, or never themselves. They're pointed towards somebody to blame. Yes, of course, I agree. Yeah, yeah. But also, is that organic, or is that is that something that's been created? It's crazy. Yeah, I agree. It is created, yeah. and it's always created. So there are always governing forces that are going to make that happen. Yeah. The other threats, the threat, and so on. But one has to be. Uh, what I was actually the reason why I laughed that time because you took it as a racist thing and when you say we look alike, yeah, yeah, of course I don't mind. I don't mind saying it. I think it's a compliment. I didn't see it as an insult. Yeah. I think it's a compliment. And when you don't know about me, I spent many years in a warm climate. You know, like. Uh, being a uh, California, or Hawaii, or many warm countries, of course I would get permanent different skin color, which I'm very happy about. There was nothing racist about it, and that's something that, from one point of view, because I remember the conversation very well. Actually, uh, I, I thought, and I'm not going to make big deal out of it, but you've exposed something, which is the connection, trying to say that being, let's say, uh, having. And not confrontational, but having one's own stand towards Islam, that means I'm a racist. No, no it I'm wasn't about Islam at all. Am I just you know, so my, my, woman, no, my so wife yeah. is a woman of colour. Sure, sure. Okay. I understand. She's probably from yeah. the region, probably you guys. Sure. Uh, your, your, your background is from. Sure. Okay. So the, the, so pop, the point was Indian. not. Sure. All right. So, so what I'm saying to you is, it's like I have no. My son, my son is darker than you guys. Yeah. Okay. So that. So I have no issue was not about colour sure. whatsoever. So issue wasn't about colour. So no, you did mention that. Just yeah, yeah. No, it was a brother's I racist said racism. Thing. Yes. For what so, reason? I'll tell you why. Why? So, anti-Muslim bigotry, Islamophobia, yeah, is the proxy for racism today. So this, what am I? What do I mean by this? There are people who know that if they are anti-black, anti-brown, they will get into trouble. So what they do is they use something else, which is a barometer. Because they know the vast majority of Muslims are not white, they know this. Yeah. Okay. So what they do is they know that Islam is not a religion, uh, uh, not a race either. Exactly. So what they do is they use these two facts to blur that racism. So they say, I can be anti-Islam, I can be Islamophobic, but I'm not racist because Islam is not a race. Now this is like a... That's an interesting point it's, of view, it's, I never it's considered a, that. It's a play on okay. words okay. to hide the bigotry and yeah. the racism. Okay, fair enough. So for me, when I see someone who's... Uh, because what happened, I'll give you an example, in America after 9-11, the first person to be killed was a Sikh man on a train, getting off a train. Yeah. Not even Muslim guy, brown man with a, with a turban on and they, they killed, someone shot him. Yeah. So the, there is no uh, even nuance yeah. for people when they, are, when they have this bigotry, okay. do you understand? Okay, so you held that view and, I, and you thought I have the same view and no, I told no, you. It was so when the, I told no, you actually that... Because of my, my kids are mixed race, <laughs> I told you, I don't have shred, I can say comfort, because all my life I never had a shred of racism within me. It just doesn't mean I won't speak my mind, yeah? If I see something that they say that is wrong, I'm gonna say it's wrong. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter what uh, repercussions are, sure. yeah? I'm just I'm gonna speak I my hear, mind. Yeah? I hear, that's fine. Yeah. I, 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 for me, and yeah. this is gonna be uh, controversial, I don't think that just because you have a, a children of a, who are of, of colour yeah. indemnifies you or inoculates you against racism. I don't think it does. How is that? I, 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 I will explain why that is. Because yeah. racism can be specifically like at certain people or certain groups. Even within a ethnic minority, there are sub-minorities that people can be racist towards each other. So for example, in 
Asian community, there are people who are uh, uh, racist to other specific Asians. Yeah. So or this, social classes, uh, uh, untouchables. Ab 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 so absolutely. So here, this, yeah. this doesn't, uh, that doesn't inoculate you. The point I was making is, when people make this, this there's a danger in making this claim that all the Europeans have this, or the, the Madaf majority have this perspective. And the danger is, is you empower those minorities who have the obnoxious views to think that they are mainstream, to think that their views can now be had openly, you empower them to become more vocal, more active, okay. and even physically maybe more active, which is dangerous. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's why I don't dislike this view, because it empowers the wrong people. Now you say something very important. <coughs> now, I agree they're minorities. Have some water, do you want some water? Have some water. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, have some. Now, I agree they're minorities, but hear me out. I'm speaking, again, I'm speaking for myself. Thank you much. In my view, everybody should have the right to express their views. Yeah, I agree. Right. Let's say they're minorities and they say, oh, I hate black people. Yeah? Let's say they're young and stupid and they say, oh, I hate black people. Yeah? Let them say it. And i tell you why. Because if they say it, they're taking it out. Next 20 years, 99% of those people, they're going to say, actually, I like black people. Because when people grow older, they grow smarter. They let go of some imported prejudice that it was never part of them. Yeah. In my view, if you're going to suppress people, no, you're not supposed to say that. No, you're not supposed to say that. Like putting people in prison because of the Facebook yeah, it's post. Wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's totally wrong. Let people express themselves and let them exactly. come to the their own conclusion. Yeah? But you know one thing, I, 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 some I agree Adam, with you. you okay. See, that's you wrong. There's a very you interesting said book you have written by to Professor Adam, Todd Green. Yes? Right. This one, Prophet or Allah? It's called Presumed Guilty. And uh, he's yes, a Christian, you heard me, you assistant professor. And he wrote this book because mm. this question so often is asked to Muslims it. about no, condemning no, things. Do you yeah. condemn this? Yeah. 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 He wrote a very interesting book. We had him on our okay, so you channel. Me. You will hear me, yes? In that, he's got a very interesting quote from a rabbi, Go ahead. Rabbi Herschel. And Rabbi Herschel said that words yes, make worlds. Okay. Sir, you said yeah. okay. correct thing to this. In Islam, we have very similar teachings. The okay. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, "Is there anything that topples a man onto his face other than the harvest of his tongue?" What you said. Okay. In other words, what you say is very important because it can shape the environment. Yes. And, and, and so, I, though I do agree when people say we should be allowed to criticize Islam, no problem. Right. It's no problem. So you can't question, yeah. yes? But when so the criticism of Islam becomes a propaganda mm -hmm. of lies and deception against Islam, so Allah, this is an abuse, I would say, of freedom of speech and freedom of expression. This is not something to be celebrated, but it is something to be addressed. Why? Because words make worlds. Okay, now can I reply yeah, to it? Yeah, of course, of course. Um, I travel the world extensively in my in my life. I've been to Asia, I've been to India, I've traveled many, by the way, six the most amazing people. Mm. I mean. They're very nice. Yeah. They're and, good people. And, yeah. and, and, okay, you aren't to it. We, there must be the tolerance that we are always growing. We're growing in wisdom and understanding. If I see a young person and does something stupid, we should have just like Thomas so our case. Yeah, yeah. Because the level of leverage of forgiveness. Yeah. Dumb and stupid. Yeah. So be it. But when somebody becomes mature, yeah. I get your point. When somebody mature and uses it as an instrument yeah. to wind up a machine of hatred, yeah. that's yeah. totally different. So I, yeah. I agree yeah. with you on this one. Yeah. But nevertheless, nevertheless, on individual level, in my view, the, the speech should be protect free speech should be protected now and here's the challenge because I've been in so many places and I had fantastic experiences in the Islamic world wherever I went and one thing I can deny and that many people are intelligent people therefore therefore any insult should be a challenge for you challenge no 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 don't say that this and this okay hold on you said that hold on for a moment let's stop you show them if if Quran is a source of enlightenment, manifest that enlightenment to a fool, 
who hates you for no reason. It could, they, they, that's the easiest thing ever. Yeah. Because it's different with the, the, why the smart ones, the clever ones, who instigate purposely. Yeah? But, but let's say you, the majority of people are just normal people. Yes. And you have a wonderful, a, a wonderful chance to show, as I said, that enlightenment within oneself. And, and that goes much further than any prohibition in speech. Yeah, Which I think is the, is the, is the worst thing. And, and, this is, and you know what happened with, this, with, this, with the latest arrest, in my view? 